Wednesday and Friday. I'm not here. That's tomorrow and the day after. Yes? Don't have me instill the fear of God in you like I have to do with my uh, Algebra 1 kids. Please be good. There are going to be two different assignments on Schoology. It's not a race. Both of them will be posted on Schoology at the same time. Actually, just because I'm mean, I will not have the second one available until Friday. So uh, we could at least we have a three-day Friday. Sorry. So it is all based on using the apps mode on the calculator. Okay. So I will have. Uh, I have the, my eight calculators, and I'll have Mr. Peterson's calculators here, which is like five or six of them, which might not be enough for everybody if you don't have your own graphic calculator. If you do have your own graphic calculator, please bring it. Um, but uh, it's not a hard assignment, but it just has to do with some of your, you know, figure it out. You know, I've, I've said that you can work with each other. I'm not looking for everyone's identical answer, especially when I have... You know, hey, which do you feel is better? You know, should I invest in this? Should I invest in that? Which is better? I'm not looking for you to say, well, Jennifer said this. I'm looking kind of for you. So they're not hard by any means, but, you know, please talk to each other about it. They're a short, you know, I think they're five or six problems each, maybe, maybe seven problems each total each day. Uh, some of them have a couple parts, so answer the questions. A lot of them are just typing in the answer, but do the best you can on it. It's dealing with what we're working on the calculator. So if you need help with these calculators, here's the step-by-step -step process. So I'm going to write this down, and then I'll put it on the board. So I'm going back and forth like a ding dong. I swear I put like 300 pens and pencils in here each, every other week, and they're gone. So, on the graphing calculator, you go to the APPS mode. I'll write this down. You go to number one, finance. And I know I'm not, you can't see what I'm writing. You go to number one, the TBM solver. And then it takes you to the solver. So the N is the number of payments. So 12 months times years equals payments. Uh, I is the interest, leave as the percent, you don't have to, you don't have to convert it. And then previous value, payment, future value, P slash Y and C slash Y should both be equal to 12. Yes, you can modify it. All right. That'll take us in. All right. Here we go. So on the graphing calculator, you go to APPS. It's a button. Number one, you go under finance. And then once that opens, there'll be another one that says TVM Solver. And then it gives you the information. You look at N. This is the number of payments. So know this. So if they say, hey, we're, we're going to pay every month. So you'd have 12 months times years. And you can do that math on the calculator. If you had five years, if you go 12 times five and then you go to the next line, it's going to take 12 times five and make it 60 automatically for N. Um, I is the interest, is the percent. 
Okay, so you leave this as a true percent. Don't look for the percent button on the calculator, but leave as, you know, if it was 4.6%, then you plug in 4.6. You don't have to convert it to a, a true decimal. And then PV is your previous value. Okay. So sometimes your previous value could start with zero if you're doing savings, or it could be what a loan amount is. Okay. Amount. If I could spell, I'd be really good. All right. And then PMT is your payment. And then uh, future value. This could be zero if you're paying down loan. Could be zero. Okay, it, but it could be a huge number as well if you are saving. And then P slash Y and C slash Y for now, just make sure they're both equal to 12. Okay. Yes, there are ways you can manipulate the system and do different payment things, but for the most part, that's pretty easy. So, I just want to show you, make sure you feel comfortable with it. You have access, because you're on Schoology, this video will be there, so you could watch this video if you're like, oh, I don't remember to do it. So, I can figure out any one of these items on here. Keep both of these as 12. So, if I had... If I had uh, six years, six years times 12, 12 payments, if I just do that on the calculator and I move my arrow down, notice what it's going to do to six times 12. Boom, 72. Let's say, let's say I don't know what my um, interest rate is, but let's say I, uh, let's say I had 800,000 800, and I'm going to go... Uh, 339, I want that. So what this is looking for is, let's say I took a loan for this amount. This is how much I want to pay. I want my future value to get down to zero. If I wanted to figure out what interest rate I would need in order for this to take place, let's say 3958.97 is your magical number. That, that's the max you can afford. Good, okay. Uh, 800,000, subtract that. If I want to figure out what the interest rate is on that situation, Clear out what's ever there. You move your cursor to whatever line you want, and then you go alpha solve. And, oh, man, that's an interest rate of 29.3%. That's highway robbery. Don't use that account. Okay? But then there's other things we can do. So if I just go through and just clear out, I think uh, it's not going to let me clear out. But let's say, let's say we knew that we had a 5.2% 5, 5 interest rate. Let's say we, um, let's say this is five, $5,000, and let's say we have a payment of uh, negative, oops, I don't want that, use the negative down below, negative $450.50, and I want my, my future value to be down, I can figure out how many payments this would do for me. So in this scenario, you have borrowed $5,000. You know that you want to have a $450.50 payment. You know that this loan has a 5.2% interest. We can now figure out what N would be. That would be the number of payments. So you just go up to N. You can clear out what's there, or you can keep it there. But you can just go alpha and solve, so alpha, alpha enter. So this will tell you that you would have about 11.4 payments to do. You'd have 11 payments of $450, and then you'd have an, a last payment that wouldn't be quite that. Okay. So you can solve each one of these, and the main thing that you have to realize is you go to the line that you want to solve, you hit alpha, and then you hit enter, and it's going to solve it for you. And it can be on any line. Don't panic if you see a negative button or if there's a negative in place. A lot of times, think of a negative as the money going out. You're paying something out. Okay? It's a real thing. 
but this calculator will deal with a lot of things for you. And again, make sure the P slash Y and the C slash Y stay that exactly that. That for the most part, let me just kind of pull up just so you have an, an idea. It's not in there yet, but I need to go to my groups. Uh, come on, go away. I need to reset this, reset. Uh, that's me. Go, go. I need to get out of Schoology. I'll go back into Schoology. So this will be on our, our. It's I don't have it in our um, course yet, so I have to go to my groups where I created it. Resources. So you're going to see all the stuff I used to do as a math science coach for the district. Or business calc. So these will be at the bottom of our page. So we have TVM solver. And this will just give us thing. So this, let's say you buy a house that costs $650,000. You put money down. You have a mortgage, you know, at 4.4. Answer the questions. How much would you pay at the end of the mortgage? Okay. We talked about that yesterday. If you need help, talk to each other. How much did you pay in just interest? So subtract the entire bill from the 650,000. Use the same information, increase your payment to 4,000 per month. You know, how many payments? So if you increase to 4,000 per month, how much would you have paid at the end? So multiply 4,000 times the number of things. Second question, if you bought a car and wanted to finance 33,000 for five years at 6.2%, how much would each payment be? How much would the car cost you in the end? So whatever your payment is, it's going to be times your N. Uh, problem number three, if you wanted to save for the next 40 years towards retirement, and you find an account that pays 8000 how much would you earn at 200 a month, 400 a month? Let's say you pay 800 a month, but you only do it for 20 years versus 40 years. Uh, what would you like me to know about savings? So this is, you know, just answer these questions, type them in, okay? I'm not looking for spelling and grammar. You've seen my stuff. So it looks like that first one has three questions where you have four parts to one of them, a couple parts to another one, a couple parts to another. So I think that gives you enough time to get it done during class and do it. And then my other one will be TVM solver number two. Okay, what kind of retirement would you like? Pick a scenario. So option A. You put a one-time amount of $250,000 in an account, earning 6% at 40 years. You know, so asking questions. Option B, you put 200 a month into account, earning 6% for 40 years. These are both going to work. Now, I will tell you that the option A, it, um, you don't have to use the TVM solver. Use PERT. I think I have it on there. I got to, you know, let me look at, edit the questions, edit questions. So, yeah, so on this one, I tell you on option A, you're using PERT to deal with this. Option B, you're using a TVM solver. One of these is going to be worth more than the other. Justify it. Talk about it. It's, you just type out what you know. Uh, someone offered you a job for 30 days. Said after 30 days, they'd give you a million dollars, or they'd give you op an option to earn one penny a day and double it every day for 30 days. Which option would you take? Well, try to figure out what this would be. You know, I'll give you an example how you're doubling a penny. You know, which option, which option would you prefer? You want the million or you want the penny a day? Um, the hint is it should be a penny a day doubled, but figure it out why. Uh, you have 100,000 student loans, percent of 7.2. You have 30 years to pay back each month. How much do you pay each month? Use the TVM solver. How much? Uh, how much is your payout if you use if your payment was a certain amount for 30 years? You know that hundred thousand you're paying a lot more for that that loan. Um, I have a true false question and then uh, which car? Oh, that's a multiple choice. So it looks like there's five questions there, which they're not hard things to do, but those are just things I want you to. To explore, be creative with it. I think that TVM solver is a pretty cool thing that should give you some insight. Okay? But, you know, 
<laughs> but just be good for the stuff. If you get done early, cool. I know a lot of you work on other stuff in here, so work on other stuff. Cool? Just don't be my seventh period. All those poor kids who can't pay that stuff. I didn't really test the girls in the computer. Seventh period, I seventh period is the devil, I'll tell you what. I mean, I like each kid individually, but you put them together, it's like napalm. It's bad. So, let's see. Let's make sure I have attendance right. So, do we feel good about what we have? Anybody? Yeah. Can you go over some of the questions on the six point two? Six point two for the work workbook. What time are we out here? So, are you saying like the solver for the future value pay period? Yeah. Okay. So that's just going through the TBM solver. So, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So all that would do is. You know the P slash Y and the C slash Y at the bottom? Yeah. That's where you modify it. Don't don't worry about that. I, I'm not going to put that on the stuff that we'll do. Um, okay. But do you all feel comfortable enough as a class that you can probably figure out how to go through these? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not look. I This is what I hope that doesn't happen. One person and... 28 of you are hovering around that one person saying, yeah, that's great. I mean, you know, yeah, talk about it, but also watch the volume in the class. I mean, this is all gets it, but, you know, not everyone is me that I kind of get, and, you know, I believe in entropy. That's organized chaos. And I also believe that no one ever said education is supposed to be silent. So, um, I, uh, I think this is a, a kind of a neat thing. I just want you to play around with it. Realize you're not going to break the calculator, but you know, my, my dad thinks if he clicks something on a website that it's going to take down the website, and I'm like, you'll be okay, dad. But you know that email you got for somebody who is being held hostage in you know in country B, you you don't need to send them money, dad. Okay. You don't know that person. Contact the U.S. Embassy. All right. We good? Does everyone feel all right? So again, I will be gone. Please have, please let the sub have a nice, wonderful...